Welcome back guys, my name is Carl Today we're making the helium zipper tutorial. Before getting into it, I just want to say that helium makes this zipper so much better than me. Uh, he's the god with the zipper, so he's really really good. I can't make it as good as he does it, but I still want to show what I've got because I think that what I've got is pretty close to how he does it. So actually I think helium is calling the for the blaster sound, but I think that we can call it helium zipper in this video. So in order to learn the what I think you gotta do is to learn the side zipper first, and that's the So you might already know how to make the side zipper. In that case, you can just skip ahead. But I will give a quick tutorial of it right now. It's good if you learn the regular zipper before attempting the side zipper. And I have a tutorial for the regular zipper. So you can go and check that out down in the description. So what you do is that you have a slight smile like this. Like try to copy the smile. And then you gotta open a small, small, small hole here right at the side of your mouth. You can pick any side. And the problem here is that the sound's gotta be very, very small. It can't be like kinda small. It gotta be like very, very small. So what you do is you press the middle of your mouth together like this. And then you, you try to widen your smile just a little bit more so that you get a very small hole here. So one thing that could help is actually sucking a bit here. So you create that very small hole. So widening your mouth just a little bit more and also like sucking in. You're not gonna use your lungs, uh, you're just gonna be like a sucking sound, like doing that. Getting some air in here. And if you get this hole here right here, you're all set. So here you drag in air and then just close the hole. The important thing here both with the side zipper and the helium zipper is that you don't use your lungs when making these sounds. So what you're doing is in order to get air in through your mouth you gotta expand the area in your mouth. And in order to expand the area in your mouth you gotta drag back your tongue. Now I'm doing the side zipper without any lungs. lungs. I can hum at the same time. And notice that my throat goes down like... That's because I drag down my tongue into my throat like... And what that does is that it expands the area in my mouth so that I can drag in air without using my lungs. And that's what you gotta do with both of these sounds. It's the same with the lip roll. When you make the lip roll, you can hum at the same time, meaning that you can see my throat as well here. I drag back my tongue to get air through without using my lungs. With the lip roll, however, you're using your jaw to expand air in your mouth as well. Uh, with the zipper, we're not doing that. With the zippers, we're only dragging in air by dragging in our tongue. It's just like a kiss. If you kiss someone, you get air in without using your lungs. So that's the like mentality you gotta have when making these sounds like getting air in like that. Or if you want to, you can call it sucking. Like if you suck through a straw, uh, you are going to use that same sucking. You're not gonna breathe in. So if you get that small little hole like this, what you do is you drag in the sound by dragging back your tongue like you suck in air, you don't breathe in air, you suck in air like... I hope that quick tutorial of the side zipper helped you out. Now we're moving on to the helium zipper. The first tip I want to give you is try to be in front of a mirror or maybe your phone cam or something. Just because that way I think it's gonna be much easier to get down the position. So the... <coughs> is all about biting down on your inner side lip. So if you look at me here, and then I up my lip like this, 
You can see that my teeth are placed on my inner side lip, like... So place your teeth on your inner side lip, and then expand the area in your mouth. So as you can see, I'm also like widening my tongue a bit to release that pressure. So I go like... The tricky part here is finding the right position of your teeth on your inner lip so you get the best sound. So that is something you probably will have to play around with a bit. This is where I place my teeth. And then I get my upper lip on top of that. So the way I learned this sound is that I started with something that's pretty far away from helium zipper sound, but it's the kind of same idea, like, like placing the teeth on top of my lip. And then I improved from there by adjusting the position more and more to get the best sound I can get. So that's the same way I think you should practice. So you might start with a very bad sound and then you develop and develop the sound more and more. And I think that's the way you should learn this sound. You shouldn't be like trying to get every position right and then practice it. You should be like... <laughs> trying to adjust the position over and over. So you can place your teeth like... And then dragging them in while continuously expanding the area in your mouth like dragging it in more and then it starts to sound better one important thing is if you're looking into a mirror or your cam try to not show your teeth like your teeth should not be seen in the camera or the mirror maybe just a little bit but try to minimize the visibility of your teeth because it starts to sound much better when the teeth are not visible <coughs> try to not show your teeth and at the same time put all the pressure on like one particular spot like here <coughs> this is why it's important to learn the side zipper because this is Kind of like a side zipper, but you're adding on the teeth. When you're making the side zipper, all the sound is coming from one point, like here. I think it could help to think the same way with a helium zipper, that all of the pressure is coming right from here. That's when the sound starts to get to sound even better. So if you're starting to get down a pretty good sound, what you can add onto that is also a smile, like... Because that's gonna make it easier to get that nice, like, compressed hole right here. Just like in the side zipper, when you make a small little smile. That's a smile you gotta keep here as well. The thing with this sound is that you gotta be very, very tight. So I have developed strength in my left side. To make a pretty good uh, helium zipper, I believe. So I know this sound is a bit difficult to get down in the beginning. So that's why I'm gonna demonstrate how it could be sounding to you on my uh, right side. That I'm not as good at all with. Here is the right side. Putting my teeth down on my lip. And then sucking. So that's probably the sound you're gonna get in the beginning. So the reason it doesn't sound good on my right side right now is mostly also because I have not the strength here right now. So the problem here I'm experiencing is that I'm not tight enough like this. Like very, very tight here. You gotta, gotta be the sa same amount of tightness here. I gotta try to practice to control the muscles on this side of my mouth and try to be stronger. So what I gotta do in order to make this as good as this side is practice this all the time. I also bite down kind of hard on my inner lip, almost to the point where it starts to hurt. But that way I can get it this tight that I cannot right now on my right side because I haven't practiced enough. Another thing to think about is that you gotta be very tight right here, but even tighter in the middle. 
So that's gonna be where you will need the most strength, I think, in the middle. You gotta press your lower lip hard onto your top lip. Because that way it's gonna be more tight, everything is gonna be more tight, and that's gonna be easier to make the helium zipper. A nice way to improve and get more power into your sound is by creating a lot, a lot of suction before releasing. So like, and then making that half smile, like, Just increasing that pressure before releasing. So I want to give a quick summary of the sound right now. You bite down on your inner side lip like, like that. You don't show your teeth uh, to the mirror if you have a mirror or a cam in front of you. Then you're gonna press up your lower lip up on your top lip in that position. Just like that. And then you gotta create suction by dragging back your tongue. Keeping everything nice and tight here. And then you gotta release all of that pressure by making a half smile or widening out your lip like. And yeah, that's pretty much the summary I'm gonna give. Before ending, I also wanna give a practice beat uh, to use this sound in, and it's the. <laughs> Yeah guys, that's pretty much it. This is the tutorial I will give you. I hope this tutorial helped you out. If you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like, leave a comment, share the video and subscribe. My name is Kurt and I'm out.